Uh, all right, now let's uh, somber up a bit. We have a great guest in the studio. A true master of his instrument, Tian. How, how do I say your last name, Tian? Uh, my last name? Yeah. Tian. Tian Yang. I mean, I actually, Tian, Tian Yang is my first name. Oh, that's your first name. Uh-huh. Tian Yang, but my, they call you Tian. Yeah, as a... I mean, yeah, for my American friends. For your American a, friends who have trouble easy, pronouncing. Call me Bob yeah. Smith. <laughs> 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 okay. You guys. Tian Young. Uh-huh, Tian Young, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and your last name is Lu? Uh-huh. Tian Young Lu. Uh-huh. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> if I was learning an instrument, he'd be sending me back <laughs> to practice my scales. Uh, Tian Young plays the stand-up bass and is regarded worldwide as a virtuoso. He's won competitions all over the world. He's been studying classical music since he got his first violin at age three. Yep. Tian Young is in Seattle to perform a concert at Seattle Pacific University's McKinley Hall Thursday at 7.30 p.m. We'll put a link to it at bobrivers.com so you can go uh, see him. Tian, and you have a, a piano player with you today. Who is she? Yeah, it's uh, Christina. Christina. Hi, yeah. Christina. Over yeah. there on the piano. Uh, Christina is uh, going to accompany you a little bit on the stand-up bass. Mm-hmm. Before you start, age three, that's when you started uh, playing the stand-up bass, or that's when you started music? Uh, actually, I started playing music uh, when I was uh, two and a half years old. I stopped playing violin uh-huh. because my mom is violin teacher. And two, when you're two, two and, and a half, a violin is a stand-up bass. I mean, that's, that's right. the same that's size true. as you are. <laughs> that's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Injected an instrument. Uh, yeah. So uh, at two and a half years old, mm-hmm. do you come from a musical family? Yeah. That's it. That's it. My mom is a violinist and my dad is a double bass professor. And are they both uh, incredibly uh, talented at, at what yeah. they do? Yeah. yeah. So they saw you at two. They were like at two. They're like, hurry up. Um, Let's go. They found me a... Uh, uh, had music talent in my really young age. Like, I was really noisy when I was really young. Oh. But the only way I can st- uh, they can stop me is turn the music on. Oh. Then I, I you stopped. You calm down when you heard music. Yeah. yeah. Probably because you had the kind of mind that was like, I need to figure out what this is, right? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, no let's, idea, let's, yeah. let's yeah. find out. Ask, yeah. Tell me, uh-huh. how do you think, I wanna, I'm going to guess you may think about music differently than the average person does. Just a guess. Uh-huh. But, so how do you think about music? Like when you heard Tropical Hot Dog Night a few uh-huh. minutes ago. <laughs> That's a pretty cool song. Did you like it? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Good. Uh, so what runs through your head? Like, can you hear what all the individual instruments are playing? And if you had to, you could you could pick out the notes super fast? Or yeah. That's part of your talent. Yeah. 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 And when you picked up the bass, God, I don't remember anything from when I was two and a half years old. I think yeah. our memories start like four or five-ish, right? Uh-huh, probably, yeah. What do you remember from learning when you were... Th- th- like, what's your youngest memory of learning the musical instrument? Actually, I you know what? I remember when I... Learn a violin at two and a half. Yeah, two and a half years old, and uh, during that time, like I love music, but for the young kids, you don't you don't love practice. Right. Yeah. So you and resisted practice, even yeah, though that's I, you how you have to I'll practice. And yeah. uh, when I was three years old, mm-hmm. I won a competition. <sighs> Actually, it was not allowed for me to play in that competition because the age limit is from 5 to You're 10. You're supposed to be 18, and somehow they passed you no, off no, as no, 18. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's it's from five, 5 to 10. It was 5. Uh-huh. So you, you won the 5-year-old uh, category when you yeah. were 3. Yeah. Five wow. To, did, 5 to 10. Did, did you, were you growing a beard? Did you have an early beard? How did <laughs> no. that work? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Then after that, I won a competition. I, I, I told my mom and say, I, I approve of my talent. Can I stop? <laughs> I have improved. Please, yeah. can I stop? Yeah. So even so, as a kid, you were like a regular kid. You wanted to go outside and play. You yeah. didn't want to practice. Yeah. But your parents, I'm going to guess, they were good at discipline, and they they must have rewarded you and encouraged you in such a way that you did it anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like uh, for me, it's a little different. I want to go outside. Like I, I like play soccer, play mm-hmm. basketball, and I also like to play music. It was enjoyable. It, it yeah. was enjoying, not like killing me, you know, when not, I practice. Right. And uh, but I don't like to practice that long. How many hours a day would uh, you say to be a virtuoso? Like uh-huh. if you had a kid, uh-huh. do you have a kid? 
No. Not yet. No. <laughs> um, if you had one, though, and, you, and, and you, clearly they showed musical aptitude, what, what would you say, like, get in there for two, three hours a day? What's the, what's the amount of time to practice? Yeah, that uh, depends the people. Uh -huh. Somebody has more talent, somebody's not. Then somebody, like, the finger's faster, somebody is slower. It's a different. So you have to make a your own schedule to uh, practice. So you just sort of figure yeah. out what's yeah. in you. When, uh -huh. And in, and do you still do you still practice yeah. in the form of, like, learning new stuff all the time? Yeah. Wow. You have to keep... But once you get your going. virtuoso license, can't you just say, screw everybody, <laughs> I'm, I'm better than... I'm the best. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean... Yeah, you could. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you st yeah, I mean, but you, you still want to better wanna, yourself. Yeah, better, keep like better. You, will you? Do you think you'll always be trying to get even better? Yeah. as long as you live. Yeah. yeah. All right, There's I can't no wait. Limited. To, I can't wait to hear you <laughs> yeah. play. Tian Yang uh -huh. uh, is going to play the stand-up bass for us. Joe joked that that don't back into it with the chair, by the way, because you'll break the. Yeah, top. they okay. put this thing right in our door. It's, it's like... worth. A, is the bass really worth a lot of money? <laughs> yeah. Not that we care. Like Chelsea Clinton, we don't care about money that much, right? <laughs> Yeah. And by the way, being a musician, did anybody tell you you'll never make a, a lot of money as a as a musician, right? Um, yeah, if you're uh, famous, like big superstar, right, you yeah. make a lot of money. But sometimes for me, as mu the music is doing that moment, it's not money can buy. It's big mm. money. Don't let him fool you. He's a big yeah. rich guy. Yeah, yeah. The, the, does he have uh, a ten and a half million well, dollar apartment? Like Chelsea let, let me put it this way: kids want to be rock stars and rap stars. Forget that. Did you see the deal the Seattle Symphony just signed? The contract, a big extension? deal, right? Everybody, the lowest guys there are getting like close to a hundred grand a year, yeah. and the upper guys are getting a lot more to play music. That's really good. It's hard to make that as a rock star. Yeah, Classical absolutely. musicians get paid well. All right. Well, uh, we are honored that you are here. You are one of the best. So be careful of that bass. Sure. I'd hate to break it. Okay. By the way, um, when that bass was built, we were not a country. That bass. How is old is that bass? Hold on a second, Tian. Uh -huh. How old is that base? It's almost uh, 300 years old. 300 yeah. years old? It was built in 1730. So. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is a priceless instrument. Let's light it on fire. Will that be funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimi Hendrix would light it on no, fire. Uh, let's rub it, salamis on it. It's made in China? <laughs> it, that, that, does that bother you that the Who would smash their instruments <laughs> after a concert? <laughs> okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to uh, let's make sure we got some sound here. Let's hear it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Tian Young Lu is going to play now, accompanied on the piano by, I'm sorry, Christina. Christina. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see them, uh, the concert is at Seattle Pacific University, McKinley Hall, Thursday evening, 730. There's a link at BobRivers.com. And all of this presented by the Carter Subaru Live Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, Tian Young. Thank you. 
spectacular. Actually, it's just a traditional Chinese song. That is? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, okay uh, can you play another one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, but I don't I only know the one song. What? <laughs> like, Sorry. It's the, one I, it's the one I know. Yeah, I mean, we never have, a, we never have someone that good in this yeah. room. That's okay. incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Cr Christina. Oh okay, yeah, Christina. Yeah, yeah, Christina yeah, yeah. too. She's yeah, pretty yeah. good. At the, I mean, she's on. pretty good at the chopsticks <laughs> yeah. over there on the piano. She's not By the bad. way, that electronic keyboard over three hundred years old. <laughs> That's three hundred. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. How's that piano? It's a piece of crap, isn't it? <laughs> it's all right. She's very polite. Uh, okay. Bob and Schnapper. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Tian Yang and Christina. Just wow! You it just happened. Yeah. Nobody likes something. to show off, buddy. Just yeah. You are such a show off. Man. You were like, at, per, at two and a half years old. You were oh, precocious. Yeah. I'll bet the people would come over. And go, All right, he was to entertain you. That's amazing. Uh, great guys. Uh, Tian Yang Lu, 
uh, and Christina over there on the piano. And uh, they are going to be at Seattle Pacific University. I would get out and see this, folks. It's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience. And uh, really, really beautiful. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. It's the sound, the tone of your instruments, both of you. How you made that horrible piano sound so good. Yeah, anybody can good make job, <laughs> this sound good, but that over there. Oh. Yeah, Christina, he's working with wow. a 300-year-old priceless instrument. Seriously. You've got something that fell off a truck. Yeah. I think there's still Cracker <laughs> Jack stuck in that one. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Folks, how about it? Yeah. 827, right back.